What's up guys, it's me, Oli. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use Voice Meter. It's a virtual mixing app that lets you stream music and audio into your game, stream, or communication apps. I'm going to show you how to use it for Somnium Space VR. I use it in unison with my USB mixer and my DJ equipment, but this is a wonderful way to be able to stream audio without needing to invest in equipment like this. You have the option to donate to the devs who created Voice Meter. Also, if you're happy with this tutorial, please check out my links as well. I'm gonna make this tutorial as simple as possible. If you're looking for something more in depth, please check out the Francois Studios channel. He has a lot of great tutorials on how to use Voice Meter and that's how I learned. All right, let's get started. We go to vb-audio.com and check out their audio apps. We're gonna download Virtual Audio Cable for Windows and Voice Meter Potato is my favorite version. So we're just gonna go with Potato and install the zip file from the bottom button right here. Remember, you can donate to VB Audio if you would like. If for any reason you'd like to uninstall VB Audio's applications, just make sure to restart your computer afterwards. And if you have any problems, you would want to follow the link at the bottom of the Somnium Times blog this article is posted in. Once you download Voice Meter, go ahead and right click and run the setup as administrator. This should pop up and just click install. When Voice Meter is successfully installed, you'll get this little window that says installation complete. Yay! And you have to reboot your computer. Now that Voice Meter is installed, you can go ahead and type in Voice Meter in your start menu search bar, and you'll see that you'll have original Voice Meter, Voice Meter Banana, and Voice Meter Potato versions. 34-bit and 64-bit. My system is 64, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the 64-bit version. All right, so we have Voice Meter Potato open. We're gonna have all the hardware inputs on the left. In the middle, we have the virtual inputs. That's where you're gonna put your music apps. On the bottom right, you have the master tracks, which are volume control, basically. And then on the top, you have the hardware outputs. This is where you're gonna put your headphones and speakers. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is right click the little speaker at the bottom right of the menu bar. And we're going to open sound settings. We'll go ahead and scroll down to more sound settings to open this little mixing window right here. We're gonna to go to the playback tab, go down to voice meter input, way down here. We're gonna find the VB Audio voice meter VIO right here. Select set as default and click OK. Next, we're going to set up your A1 source in the upper right for monitoring. So go ahead and click A1 and select your monitoring device. I'm gonna click my headphones. Go ahead and try different versions and see what works for you. I'm going with WDM Headphones Real Tech to monitor through my earbuds. On the next step, we're gonna select our microphone under the Hardware Input 1 tab. I'm gonna set in my built-in laptop microphone right here. You can rename the channel by right-clicking it and typing in what you want. I'll just put laptop mic. Try toggling off B1 and switching to B2 to let you know that this is active. So once we finish the setup, other people can hear you. By switching to B2, you're sending this channel to this B2 output channel that your audience will be able to hear. Because we switched A1 to our headphones here, Anything with A1 toggled on, any channel with A1 toggled on it, is going to be monitored in your earbuds. Next, we're going to go back to our sound settings. In case you close it, you right click the little speaker on the bottom right of the menu bar and open sound settings. And then scroll down to more sound settings for advanced sound settings. And we'll see this little window again. So we're gonna to go to the recording tab and find the voice meter auxiliary output. It's also called 
Oxvio, and we're going to select it, set to default, and if you don't need to apply, just press OK. If you have to apply it, just click apply and then click OK. What that does is sends this to your audience or whoever you're communicating to. So we're just kind of connecting all the pipes together. All right, now we'll connect your music apps by downloading virtual cable. So we'll find that in our downloads folder. You might have to unzip it. I'm going to go to the 64-bit setup, right click and run as administrator. If you have a 32-bit system, go ahead and right click this one and run as an administrator. To find out what your system is, right click this PC and open properties and it will tell you what system type you're operating with. So I'm running the setup. I click install driver, installation complete, woohoo! Click OK. We're gonna reboot our system again. So virtual cable should be installed now. And to make sure we can check if it is an option as an input device, which it is. So we won't worry about that right now. First, we're going to download Ear Trumpet. Ear Trumpet is a Microsoft app you can get from the Microsoft Store for free, and it's E for everyone. To check if it successfully installs, just click this little arrow at the bottom of your menu bar and click this speaker icon. And this should open Ear Trumpet for you with all your mixing, system mixing options. You can also do the same thing in your system sound settings by using your volume mixer. But as far as the Francois Studio tells us, this is not as reliable as Ear Trumpet, which is why Microsoft offers Ear Trumpet. I'll just go to YouTube and play one of my instrumentals. This is Sweet Dreams in E Major. It's from my meditation music project, The Sound Mind. It's available for streaming on Spotify and for download from all major music outlets like Deezer, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and more. I'll right click the browser icon in Ear Trumpet, select the double arrows, and then send that sound to virtual cable or cable input. VB audio virtual cable. Now I'm going to go to my second channel here in voice meter. I'm going to select cable output VB audio virtual cable here as an input device. And as you can see, the audio is playing here along with the audio from my microphone right here. So if I want to monitor that, I just make sure this is on. If I want my audience to hear it, I make sure B2 is selected. Otherwise, I'll just leave it toggled off. And I'll go ahead and turn off B1 on all channels to avoid any confusion. Next, we'll connect our communication apps. So we're going to go back to our sound settings, scroll down to more sound settings to open our favorite little window right here. On some Windows versions, you can right click the speaker and it'll just say sounds right here and it will automatically go straight to this window. So we're gonna go to the playback tab, scroll down, and remember, we set voice meter input VIO as a default device. We're gonna set voice meter aux input, aux VIO, as the default communication device by right-clicking and just pressing set as default communication device. So we'll have voice meter VIO as the default device and voice meter auxiliary input as the communications device. And then click apply if, it's, if it lets you and click okay. Now all communication will be sent to voice meter. I'm just gonna right click this channel and put comms for communication. I'll just rename this as desktop. Next, let's connect Windows Media Player. So I open Windows Media Player. I'm going to play my song By the Sea in B minor, which is another track from my Peaceful Piano album. And we'll see that Microsoft is already playing in there. And if we would like, if we want other people to hear the music playing, you simply press B2. 
and then whoever you're communicating with will hear it over Discord, Steam, or whatever you're using, Skype. You can also use iTunes if you want. If this doesn't show up here, just go to Ear Trumpet and find the app like we did with um, Microsoft Edge and right click it, click the arrows and send it to voice meter VIO or wherever you want, whatever channel you want to use, whether it's VIO, auxiliary or VIO3 or this one, the desktop one. I can also connect my record box um, DJ software. I just connected my Pioneer DDJ 400s and my music, my mix USB and see if we can't get this hooked up somewhere as well. First, let's go to record box preferences and see where the audio is being sent to. Let's send it to the virtual input um, voice meter VIO3. Yeah. So as you can see, it's playing in this channel right here. So I can rename this right click and just press DDJ 400. So I know that this channel is playing my DJ music and I can press B2 if I want my audience to hear it through here. And this is just the master volume. I could fade down and I'll click at the top of this volume bar and just pull down and I could put a limiter on it. And these ones are really easy to control as well with these little sliders. You can also open your OBS settings, go to audio, select voice meter VIO as a playback device, select voice meter aux output or aux VIO as your microphone. And I'll unmute aux VIO so that my audience can hear what I want them to hear. Only what I have toggled under B2. So now let's try a DAW. So I've just connected my keyboard to my DAW. I'm going to add a sound. Let's see. I'm using Ableton Live 11 Trial. I usually do production on my Mac. All right. So I'm dragging a sound. So I have piano right here. So. I'm just gonna record a little loop. I'm just hitting random keys here. And I'm going to turn this on. Just leave it looping. But first we're gonna go to options, preferences, and audio. And then it looks like our output device is already selected to voice meter. Let's fix the latency as much as we can and go ahead and turn on this loop. Now it's playing and we can see that it's connected to this communications channel. I would actually prefer it to be um, over here in this unused channel. So this is voice meter aux. So let's try changing the output to voice meter aux input and obviously the latency got worse so let's fix that by dragging this and let's check out voice meter so now it looks like ableton is playing here on this channel so i can rename this to daw and if i want other people to hear my little piano loop i just will click b2 And as you can see, I can mute my microphone right here so they don't hear, it doesn't go to that channel. You can see that it's just purely the MIDI loop going to my audience right here until I deselect B2. All right, so right now they can hear my laptop mic. Um, we are monitoring our desktop audio and this will usually be where the gaming audio comes through. Um, our audience can hear our communication audio, so if we want to do a duet or something with someone, they can sing to us uh, through Discord, and we can um, sing with them and broadcast it into the game. Um, our 
digital audio workstation is playing to our audience and also my um, DJ mix I'm able to perform on my decks. Lastly, we're going to open Somnium Space. I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to launch in 2D. If you have a headset connected and Steam VR launched, go ahead and open in VR. And if you have your headset through Steam VR, simply go to Voice Meter and change your mic to your headset microphone. Right here I have my Oculus microphone. And then you can change your headphones here to your headset headphones. Right here I have my Oculus virtual audio device headphones. But I'm just going in 2D for now without my headset. So now I'm here in Somnium Space in Incredible World at this cute little gazebo I built. And there's a little mermaid over there. She's got a pearl. So cute. But I like to host meditations here. But if I want everyone to hear my voice and my audio, I simply go to the tablet in the upper right, click settings, go to microphone. I'll select voice meter, aux, vio, as my microphone. And now everyone should be able to hear me as long as my B2 is selected and my mic is on. And if that's not the case, just go back to your sound settings, make sure that the correct thing is selected, aux vio in input and the voice meter vio an output so everything will go through voice meter and into the game and sometimes you need to go away from the selection and go back to get it to work check check one two check check and just make sure your mic is enabled and usually you'll see the bar go up here make sure that these settings are correct and you can see your little voice moving right here in the volume bar before launching Somnium Space. You can open Ear Trumpet um, and change where the Somnium Space audio is coming from. It looks like it's going to the VIO channel. Yeah, right here, even though I don't see it. Check, check, one, two. Yay, so now we can see that our microphone is heard in game right here with the little menu bar. You can turn it up a bit, turn up your mic, turn it up from here. You can turn it up so people can hear. Check, check, one, two, check, check. So I can see that my audio is working. So now you're able to play music from your browser, from your media player like iTunes or Windows Media Player. Um, from your DJ software, DJ equipment, from your MIDI, on your digital audio workstation like Ableton, into Somnium Space VR or OBS, Discord, other things. So I hope this is helpful to everybody trying to work their audio. Remember, you can also get a USB mixer and it's just more plug and play, but it's a little more expensive, but much more consistent than um, voice meter, but voice meter works. It just takes a little bit of troubleshooting sometimes and patience, but it's super fun. And I'm really thankful that it's an option for us. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hit me up on Discord, on the Somnium Space Discord, if you have any questions at all, and I'll do my best to help you with your audio trouble. Until next time, take care of yourself and everybody around you. Love you. Peace.